Melchizedek, 
Dead for mass. Stops and knocks the hall door of the corner house to find the independent from a Republican publican. So he can read it while the nuns serve up his soft boiled egg. Pinch of salt, butter, and their best china after a quick mass. For Jimmy of the shop is not yet out of bed. And the master, an old Republican with one eye, God knows why, active service maybe, or just some misadventure in his youth, marches briskly down the street. Suit trousers creased and turned up, black shoes shiny, his felt fedora shading his eyes, and his specially made black rimmed glasses, with one clear pane and one frosted pane, hiding his bad eye, in by the press of an old comrade. How are you this morning, master? Jimmy's wife nudges him out and he brings in the newspapers and puts their strings on the top of the ice cream fridge and looks at page three before the first farmer comes in for a large bottle of red lemonade that would be used to quench the thirst before noon in a dry meadow or at a reek the size of a house or a pipe behind a buyer or in a hay barn where his fork and hay to the roof of the bucket to the young lads tramping it down and resting. Across the square from Jimmy's, up the butcher dreams of his red TR7 with its pop-up headlamps. And Jerd Malloy in his third story bedroom, high above Low Street, and over the bank, dreams of secret agents and double agents and World War II. I know my mother likes jazz. John Wayne and Seven Rides for Seven Brothers. She likes the word synchronized and hates the word gorgeous. She likes Turkish delight and fruit and nut and hates lachicos, havrils, black provos and rats. She drinks tea from a china cup and likes to put the milk in first and reminds us she was named after the queen. She has two books on the shelf, both of equal size and both in brown paper covers. One is the dictionary and the other is a cookery book. She goes to Dublin for the day on the train and gets her hair done with in Peter Marks, brothers that she sat beside in school. She dresses us in the morning in front of the paraffin heater. She loves Cayley House and Sunday Miss Emily and sits in the gallery at nine o'clock mass and we sit with her looking out over the altar and the sacred heart light and Father Dignan down on the bald heads and Tommy Gaffney haircuts. In the kitchen, the captain sits on his chair beside the table, pauses and thinks of the day before putting his feet into his shoes. He thinks of his egg too. And how would you like your egg, sir? With another one. Ha ha ha. And my mother turns on the radio and synchronizes her watch. It's eight. Oh.